everybody, I'm Aaron and these are some cars I really like. In fact, these are the cars I wish were around when I was a kid. HSP's two-wheel drive brushless range represents some of the best value for money in the RC world. The Crusher, Viper, Mongoose and Storm. All of these cars share the same suspension, arms, steering, gearboxes and with the exception of the Storm, the same central chassis. The Storm's is longer, stretching the car to standard 110 short course truck dimensions like a Traxxas Slash. All of this means great parts support, and the cars are super easy to repair. And in the RC world, crashes and breakages are a matter of when, not if. Not that they're weak, far from it. They're made from super flexible plastic that's super resistant to braking. But when you do go 60 km an hour into a pole, all you need to do the repairs is a 2mm and 2.5mm hex driver. Because these four cars are all based on the same chassis, it means there's parts from one that will fit another. The Crusher has this sweet wheelie bar which can be put on the Mongoose, which is exactly what I've done with mine. But we haven't even talked about the best thing in these cars, the motor and electronic speed controller. They even come with a 3,500 milliamp 2S LiPo, giving around 30 minutes of runtime. The brushless motor is 3,300 kV, and coupled with the 60 amp ESC and included two cell LiPo, these cars all hit 55 kilometers an hour right out of the box. And that's not some made up manufacturer number achieved downhill in a vacuum with a tailwind in a private wind tunnel catered by Elon Musk. That's a number we've measured just around the corner with a radar gun. They are simple to get up and ready to run. If you want to see how that's done, check out the video link in the description. So out of the box, they're tough, fast, and well supported with everything included in ready to run. But what about my favorite thing? Mods. Mods are a great way to personalize your ride, and upgrades can strengthen or tune parts of the car to your liking. Here's the first upgrades every owner should do. A second battery. These cars are so much fun to drive, and your run doesn't have to end by rolling to a stop. A higher capacity battery can keep you running for longer, stretching the fun. With that second battery, you're going to want to improve the charging to driving ratio. Your next upgrade should be a smart charger. For maximum awesomeness, go a dual channel charger to charge two batteries at once. Now the car can be driven harder for longer, we can do the fun stuff, starting with wheels and tyres. Offering both a visual and performance upgrade, a new set of rims can take these scale rides to the next level. I like wheel bearings to be in metal for extra support and smoothness. These aluminium hubs are a great visual and reliability upgrade. For faster, more precise steering, you're going to want to upgrade the steering servo. My go-to servo for anything 110 scale is this 13 kilogram waterproof one from PowerHD. The colour even matches. Hamish did a video of how to install this in these very cars, again, link in the description. We've even designed our own parts for these cars, like our steering post upgrade kit. If you smack into something hard enough, the chassis can flex to the point of the steering post popping out. Nothing actually breaks, but you'll lose a post and have to replace it. Our posts screw into the top plate of the steering mechanism, so they won't fall out. Lastly, if anything, the one problem these cars can have is that they're too fast for young ones. That's why we've designed this, a throw limiter for the Flysky remote controls. A lot of RCs achieve this electronically, but I know that when I was a kid, it would have taken me all of seven seconds to figure out how to turn that off. This works more like a grapefruit under an accelerator pedal. It limits trigger travel to slow the car down until skills come up. Speaking of, I might go drive mine now. Like and subscribe for more of my fanboy moments, and coming up next, Tamiya.